I'm excited. Dude, I'm excited too. All right, so today we got in the mail the Worker Hurricane number 527 of this special limited edition transparent red. I mean, pure sex appeal. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It, it, It's pretty cool. I didn't really like the Hurricane when it first showed up on the internet. I was like, that's sort of dumb. It looks weird. But then the red came out. I'm like, that might but just change my mind. <laughs> but then they gave us our favorite color. And we're like, oh, okay. We'll we try it. Maybe, maybe that would be good. Like, so, honestly, for people who like pistols, I think this is like, amazing. <laughs> it, the handle is a little small. It's smaller than, like, some Nerf handles. But it still feels... Oh, what do you think? Yeah, we have a Retali right here. So, yeah, it's a little bit smaller than the retaliators and whatnot, but it still feels great in the hand. And it fits it fits their battery pack nicely. I don't know if it fits some lipos, but that's about it. I love the trigger mechanism. That's cool. I like the mag. Uh, I love what people have done with the rear loading. Or in the mag adaptation. Yeah, because well, this is technically a it's magazine already. Mag, the, a stick mag, I guess. Uh, I think... I saw on the internet somebody called it something that like it, it's more like a rotary mag. No. But maybe because you know rotary telephone, rotary mag. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But yeah, uh, it took it took me a little bit to figure out how to actually get the magazine to sit in there well, and now it's actually like fairly easy to reload. So if you had multiple multiple of these, that's cool. Or if you want to just do the replacement where you can run mags. That's pretty good. Tucker yeah. has plans to do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just have a couple double A's in here just to see how it works. Um, man, it does not perform great with just double A's. <laughs> we got a solid 19 yeah, FPS. We were, we were chronographing it with the Lego die <laughs> chronograph and we were yeah getting averages under 20 <laughs> even. And that was when it read, when it, did, when, when it didn't say error. <laughs> yeah, when it was just not going too slow to actually read. Uh, I like this little switch here. It's a nice little handy on-off switch. Are you gonna keep that? Yeah, because uh, just so you don't kill it and whatnot. And now I sort of like gonna, it. You're gonna rewire it to take out the lock there, though, right? Yeah, I will. I'm gonna take out this lock because um, it's irritating. All it is is just like a magwell lock, which doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm. <sighs> I might do, actually, I'm probably going to do a wheel upgrade since I'm getting some free flywheels from uh, AK, AK Blaster Mods because they messed up the spring order for my knockout and they're like, do you, can you, do you want anything as like a payment for our saris? And I was like, I'll take some uh, upgrade <laughs> hurricane wheels and they're like, okay. So yeah, they're the slightly higher crush wheels with the grooves in them, so those will be really cool. Yeah, see, I was sort of, I I got this as plans for a secondary until I build my Strife, which is going to be my go-to extreme secondary. Um, so this one, I'm just trying to aim for 100 FPS um, for right now, so I'm going to get some IMRs and, or maybe a 2S LiPo, something. Yeah, 2S seems to be a good uh, battery to get the yeah. 100 from what we've been looking at. And I'm probably going to do the wheel upgrade, but I sort of like this wheel setup, cage setup right now, because I can shoot FVJs, and where I'd primarily be using this is at our local nerf area, which primarily uses FVJs for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, all in all, it's a really nice pistol. Like, <laughs> it's uber compact and holsterable like this thing okay, i wish oh. well i'll be back you keep talking i'm gonna find a <laughs> i'm gonna find a sidearm i just think it's a super neat design super small super compact has the ability to be upgraded into du dual stage super super simplistic wiring and i love this the i love the dual stage trigger oh that trigger design is perfect dude i love myself some dual stage triggers it's just, it's something I love in real steel as well. You just, you let up off the switch just a little bit and immediately starts revving. It's very cool. Are you looking for the pistol bin? Because I have five of them. I'll look for the clear one, I think. 
Look for the Let's biggest see. clear one. I see it. <laughs> um, I just, I love the trigger. It's super comfy, and I think its mechanism super neat. You can see it. It's a maverick. A maverick. <laughs> Yeah. Sort of compare six shot pistol sort of thing. Much smaller. Um, probably about the same power, to be honest. <laughs> currently, yeah. <laughs> Actually, currently the Maverick might beat it. Um. <laughs> but. But in modability, the Hurricane floors the Maverick. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this at the moment until I mod it. Mm -hmm. uh, cool blaster. Uh, lots of people are stalking them right now, such as Foam Blast and Out of Darts and uh, Containment Crew, I think. Um, you should pick yourself up one of these if you don't already have a Hurricane. I'm, we're not the hugest advocates for flywheel blasters, but we like this one. Uh, yeah, so this is the limited edition red one which is more expensive and a limited run from what I can tell, but I found the clear version of this on Worker's Etsy page for $12.99, which is an amazing deal because you can get this and then get like a $10 to $15 LiPo and have an amazing secondary. <laughs> yeah, see, I got this also off of NF Strike for somewhere between 25 and 30. I can't remember. Um, but this is a pretty good deal. I do recommend if you're going for this, because even the the standard like matte one that's not transparent is even more expensive than the transparent one. Yeah. Um, but if you want to dye it, clear is a really easy thing to dye. Yeah, it was really weird to see that the the all white and blue one was more expensive than just the clear one. But depending on how good we can get this thing and how much fun it is to run with. I may pick up the clear one and fill around with that. It'd be my first flywheel blaster, so I kind of don't want to break that streak of not having a flywheel blaster. <laughs> but it's also just a really great pistol, and I love pistols, and this one could be amazing. I, I've seen the top loading mod for this thing, which is great, and I think we're going to do that once we start modifying this. But then you can get like upgraded cages, like I've seen the dual stage, I've seen the, the triple cage. Oh yeah, <laughs> the wheels of death out the, the front. The huge <laughs> chonk wheels. Yeah, the, the insanity that happens with that, which is is whack. Yeah. But like even in just like this small form, if you need a nice secondary that you can pop off the hip and fire off six shots, I would say this is better than a hammer shot. Personally speaking, I don't really like hammer shots that much, but I would say if you <laughs> if you're a fan of one-handed blasting, this should be your go-to if you if you're open to flywheels this should be what you want <laughs> yeah uh look forward to oh my god i'm stupid there's a fire strike right under the table <laughs> single shot you have to pull it back it is then longer oh my god is it it's really not though uh, no shit. they're the same size but really? the pullback <laughs> makes it longer and it's only a single shot Jesus. Wow. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's a little, it's, it's a little thicker than okay, yeah, like, than that, but that's because of the electronic components. Girth Squad coming in strong with this one, but like, but they're <laughs> they're the same size. <laughs> that did I did not expect that. Damn. A little smaller of a handle. Um, still, this is much comfier. Yeah, a hundred percent. But yeah. Hey, uh, but yeah. Uh, final note. If you only play in stock and you're not willing to like get better batteries, we wouldn't recommend the Hurricane. Oh yeah. Um, if you're looking for a six shot pistol that is a Springer and not a flywheel, my personal recommendation is the Dart Zone Blitzfire. Blitzfire is really good. I have a few of them, mm -hmm. and I they're they're great them. stock. Jacob modded his, but just stock, they're phenomenal as just a nice little quick secondary. Oh, honestly, literally the only mods I did to my Blitzfire was put brass in the cylinders because I kept having like loose darts that would just mm -hmm. wiggle out the front when I was running around. But that's it. That's all I did, <laughs> and it's amazing. But but it's just sort of pick your fancy. You want flywheel or you want Springer? Yeah. For best fly, <laughs> if we're having the question of best flywheel pistol, dude, Hurricane might take it for me. Really? I, mean, I don't really know what we would all count in that category. Dry... Like spli I mean, like, yeah, okay. <laughs> FDL? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. 
I don't know. That's a discussion for another time. I I mainly put this one's over the others because I don't have to run mags. I can do the top loading thing. Oh yeah. With this, and that's a big bonus for me. Um, but if you like this video, look forward to in the future on our Instagram and on here of updates on this and me using it probably in some wars. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Like the video, it means a lot to us. Comment, that also means a lot. Um, yeah, we, we read your comments. Yeah, all of them. We like to talk. Um, we have a Patreon now at Patreon slash Mod Bros. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.